most people wouldn't realize how relevant they are. One of them is H.G. Wells, who's the famous science fiction author, wrote The Invisible Man and, you know, uh, the, the Mars Invades, you know, story and a War of the Worlds um, and um, just like a dozen other major science fiction things that people, he's very famous, H.G. Wells. Um, and the other one is, is Aldous Huxley, you know, Brave New World. Um, these guys are British intellectuals at the turn of the century, um, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s, who were not really science fiction authors. They were using science fiction to push through agendas um, and to raise a certain awareness and push culture in a certain direction and to help shape public policy. And the interesting thing about that for me is that um, H.G. Wells ends up writing um, a book. Let me just make sure I have it, uh, the full title. Uh, it's called The Open Conspiracy, Blueprints for a World Revolution. Okay, so if, if you don't know anything about anything, you can look up H.G. Wells' Open Conspiracy, Blueprints for a World Revolution. It's published in 1928. And um, it was written sort of, you know, when he was already a middle-aged man and, and had seen a bunch of stuff and kind of become jaded. And he stopped being so optimistic about the future. His utopian sort of vision was sort of fading. And then he decides um, he basically needs to create a blueprint, which is right in the title, for how to achieve world socialism without um, having to basically have anyone agree with it. Uh, without having the consent of the people and so you have this idea and that become hg wells again people don't realize this is one of the most influential political thinkers of the 1800s and early 1900s you know ends up shaping this whole uh globalist movement and so what we're seeing today is basically a callback 